Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Anatomy with Alex. My name is Alexandra Ellis from aewellness.com, and on today's episode, we are covering all things collagen. So if you have heard of collagen supplements or collagen powder or collagen goop or whatever, I'll be telling you how it works and why you might consider introducing it into your diet. As always, if you have any questions, you can drop them down into the comment box below, and I'll do my best to answer it. We're also live streaming over here on uh, Instagram, um, so if you have any questions, again, you can come on over to Facebook or Instagram. So here we go. What is collagen? It is a protein. So just like you might have protein powder, well, collagen is also a protein that's extremely important for your body. Now, it's a polypeptide, which means it's a mixture of amino acids. And amino acids are the building blocks for uh, proteins in your body. Now, collagen is especially important because it forms the basis of all of your connective tissues. So we're talking uh, hair, skin, nails, bones, joints, cartilage, tendons, the lining of your gut. I mean, so many things require collagen to be uh, at their utmost healthiness, okay? Um, even your vital organs also use collagen. It is super duper important within your body. And your body can produce its own collagen, but around age 25, our natural uh, collagen production and the rate of collagen production starts to decrease, which is a massive bummer if you're over the age of 25. Um, and this is also why age-related issues such as you know, skin changes and bone changes, joint problems, fine lines and wrinkles begin to manifest in our 30s and beyond. Um, so this is why you would want to supplement collagen because your body is not producing as much as it once did. And while it is available in your diet, um, I know for myself, I don't eat the whole animal, right? I'm not eating all of the parts, so I would like to supplement um, collagen where I can to keep up that collagen, the levels and production within my own body. So... Um, Mariana, that's okay, Facebook froze. We're here, we're here. <laughs> so the benefits of collagen, as I already mentioned, um, is skin and quality of your skin. Collagen loss within the skin is directly correlated with your aging skin. It's like a massive bummer. Um, and you can't apply it topically. I think there are some products on the market that are topical collagen agents, but research has been finding that oral supplementation, so consuming the collagen to have you know, systemically higher levels of collagen, um, can help reduce uh, wrinkle depth uh, for women. They did a study where women took a collagen supplement daily and experienced a 20% reduction in wrinkle depth around their eyes after eight weeks. So ladies, eat your collagen. Uh, so it promotes a youthful experience, experience, excuse me, appearance and helps to support glowing skin. Um, now, if once you start taking collagen, the changes are not instant. It's not like one day you wake up with a totally different face, uh, but you will see it over time. I know for myself, when I started supplementing with collagen, it was a couple weeks later and I noticed that the texture of my skin, like the spring to it, was uh, better than it had been before. So um, if you do take collagen, I would love to know what your experience uh, when it comes to skin has been with collagen um, and if you noticed any changes as well. So let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'll also be posting all of uh, the links to the research that I'm referencing down into the comments below so you can go check them out for yourself as well. So strong hair and nails, remember they are connective tissues, they require collagen, and collagen will help to support healthy, thick hair and strong, fast-growing nails. Um, I know when I started using collagen, my nail growth is a lot better than it used to be, and I used to have very weak and brittle nails, and they're definitely not as brittle as they used to be. Collagen also helps to support healthy bones and joints. They're connective tissues. Your bones and your joints are also connective tissues, so they need collagen to function. Uh, some research looked at uh, knee pain and joint pain uh, in athletes, and uh, I think there were like 72 men and like 73 women, and they all supplemented with collagen over a 24-week period, and a majority of them reported a decrease in joint pain, um, which is 
awesome. Now, this is not necessarily uh, with osteoarthritis. I think I might have pulled a study that I'll again post down in the comments about osteoarthritis joint pain as well. But what they found was that there was more collagen within the joint itself. So your body is going to absorb collagen in all of the connective tissue places, which, which are all over your body when you are consuming it and you have enough through your diet. So think of it as a building block to the body. And when we don't get enough of it through what we're eating normally, it's just a way to add it in. And I'll also share with you, uh, once we get to the end, ways that you can use uh, collagen, not just by pouring the powder into water, which seems incredibly boring. Uh, but if that's your deal, that's cool too. You know, whatever floats your boat. Um, so as far as post-workout recovery, having collagen also helps your muscles and your joints to repair and recover faster than they would otherwise. So um, that study I also mentioned about the athlete, so their post-workout recovery, um, they reported less pain just, and this was a difference because of the collagen. So they gave half, or I don't think it was necessarily half, but some of the group got, you know, the placebo and the other half of the group got the collagen. And the collagen group did report a change in their post-workout soreness and stiffness. So if you're doing heavy workouts, if you are, you know, a runner or crossfitter or a yogi, uh, collagen is going to help your body repair and recover so that you can return to your activity feeling better. I mean, who doesn't want to feel better, right? Uh, you also probably have heard of collagen and gut health, uh, specifically in regards to gut permeability. And what that means is the, uh, the way the cells in the gut fit together. And if it's um, irritated or imbalanced, it, the spaces get a little bit bigger and then more things can sneak through and your body gets very, very upset and the balance is offset. So we want to improve gut permeability uh, so it's more at balance. And because collagen has large amounts of the amino acid, acid glycine, which isn't really high availability within our diet. So also about collagen powders is that they're super bioavailable, meaning that your body can digest them super easy. So glycine and glutamine, which are in collagen, and these are amino acids, help promote healthy digestion and support a functional gut, gut lining. There's many words I am tripping over here today. Um, some studies have shown improvement of gut permeability when patients were given oral glutamine, and so that is a component of collagen. So this suggests that collagen supplementation can really help with gut health. Uh, Richard asks, how do you know if your body produces enough on its own or if you need to supplement? Um, I don't really know, to be quite honest, um, but I know for myself and the diet that I eat, I'm eating ground meat, I'm eating you know, the chicken, but I'm just eating the meat, even if I have a whole chicken. I'm not eating the bones, I'm not eating the, um, you know, like the ligaments and tendons, which is where there's a very high, uh, you know, source of collagen. Now you can also get it in bone broth, right? So if you take that whole carcass and boil it down, uh, there is gelatin, which is the cooked form of collagen available. Um, but you know, if you are down to drink bone broth every day, you could do that. Um, and you know, maybe you do have a diet where you are consuming bone broth, you are eating the whole animal all the time. And so maybe collagen supplementation, you know, isn't necessary. Um, I find for my lifestyle, you know, I'm busy, I'm going, going, going all the time, and I just want to get all the help I can get. <laughs> so hopefully that resonates with some of you, and hopefully that answers your question, Richard. Um, all right, so moving on to the next benefit of collagen supplementation, and that is sleep. So glycine is a, uh, another amino acid that is in collagen, and it's been associated with helping to promote deep, restful sleep. And sleep, as we have talked about on previous episodes of Anatomy with Alex, is critical uh, when it comes to you know, better focus, uh, better immune resistance, better um, just health overall. You make better decisions, you feel better. Sleep is critical to our health. So anything that is going to help promote better sleep uh, is A-OK -okay in my book. Hi, Lori. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. 
So there you have it, benefits of collagen, beautiful skin, strong hair and nails, healthy bones and joints, uh, faster post-workout recovery, better gut health, and deeper, more restful sleep. Now, as I mentioned, you might not see all of these benefits immediately, and some of them may be subtle and you don't notice. Uh, research is you know, starting to come out. Collagen is a newer, I don't want to say fad, but it's a newer thing. And so the research always lags a little bit behind. So we'll probably start to see more reviews and more studies coming out. As I said, I will post down into the comments the research articles that I was referencing. Um, now, how to use collagen powder. There are flavored variations. I prefer an unflavored variation because then I can add it to anything and it doesn't change the taste. It doesn't change the texture. Uh, you can add it to hot or cold beverages. That doesn't matter either. So I've added collagen powder to trail mix that I've made. I've added collagen powder to um, my tea every morning. I just do a scoop, pour the tea over, stir it up. And that's just another way, easy way to get collagen. I add it to my coffee. Again, it doesn't taste like anything, so I don't mind adding it. Um, I know people add it to smoothies. You can add it to um, yogurt. I mean, soups, like whatever your mind can think up. So what do you guys put uh, your collagen powder in? Those of you who are using it, let me know in the comments below. And Richard says, I'm up for anything that helps me sleep. Totally agree with you, Richard, totally. So when you're looking at the brands of collagen that are available on the market, the source is important. So you wanna be sure that you are uh, looking for collagen that's sourced from animals that are humanely raised or grass-fed sources uh, because you're getting such a concentrated dose of that animal. So wanna be sure it comes from a, a cleaner source. Uh, a brand that I really like is Vital Proteins. They have a ton of different options and I'll be linking down to them in the comments below. Uh, so I use their uh, just unflavored collagen peptides. It's Whole30 approved, there's no sugar, There's just it's just plain collagen. And that's what I add to my tea and my coffee and soups and things like that. They also have, which I have shared in my Facebook group before, um, this matcha green tea powder that also has collagen mixed in. So that's really awesome to mix with coconut water and a little bit of like your favorite non-dairy creamer or something like that. And then you have a frothy, delicious matcha latte with collagen at home. Um, so again, you can get that through the link. Yeah, Mariana says grass-fed, yes. I mean, if you're going to be eating, you know, such a concentrated piece of an animal, might as well have one that's um, a little bit happier. Yeah, I don't, although I don't know that grass makes a cow happier, but it makes me feel better. Um, so Vital Proteins, their collagen peptides have 18 amino acids, including eight of the nine essential amino acids, and their glycine and proline concentrations are about 10 to 20 times higher uh, than in other proteins. So it's just a really good quality source that mixes great, it doesn't get clumpy, it's just super duper easy to use. They have flavored ones, they have non-flavored ones. Um, I know they have some berry flavored ones that also don't have sugar added. So if you're watching your sugar consumption, and I mean no sugar, like there's not, you know, stevia or something in there, there's like nothing. So it's super, um, just like bare bones, exactly what you need, delicious flavor. Um, so again, the links to all the things that I referenced will be in the description or in the comments and um, where to get vital proteins will also be in the comments. And one last note, um, if collagen gives you an upset stomach, which it can uh, decrease how much you're using. So instead of the full scoop, try, you know, like just a teaspoon and then gradually work your way up. So sometimes if we have gut issues going on, um, the collagen can irritate a little bit. So just start it easy, start small dosage, uh, and, you know, and then just increase from there. Uh, Mariana, the brand is Vital Proteins, and I'll link to it down in the comments uh, once we end today. So there you have it. That is what collagen does in your body, and I hope I have encouraged you to spread, go forth and spread collagen over all of your food. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode of Anatomy with Alex. I hope you have a nerdy day doing whatever it is that you do, um, and until next time, take care, you guys.